saw, I was tagged in a picture, and my sister had tagged me on Facebook or something, and she goes, I just ran into Justin Moore. <laughs> yeah. About a month Were you in a restaurant? Yeah. Um, Got it. Do you, I was going to ask if you even remembered that. Rods. Yeah. Um, which is in Hot Springs, as you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, we love that place, man. Was and she so, okay, though? Was she like, she wasn't like, oh, my no, God, because no, you let great. me know if I need to tell my sister. <laughs> they did mess my pizza up. But, but okay. it wasn't her fault. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to have like, a little something I'm, to say about that. She was like, and it, almost apologetically, she was going, I'm Bobby's Oh, apologizing for being sister. my sister more than the uh, pizza. I go, oh, okay. So anyway, it was, yeah. Is it hard for people to recognize you without the cowboy hat? Because like, without the cowboy hat, you're just a, you're just like a dude. Yeah, I'm just an ugly Not ugly. Dude. I would say, uh, like myself, a tiny generic. Little dude. Ge- we're, I think we're both generic <laughs> white guys. Um, yeah, I mean, it happens sometimes, but not all the time. I think it it would happen more with the hat, you know. That you get recognized. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. wear the hat, though? Where, do, where would you wear your cowboy hat that doesn't involve performing or literally working at, like, in your you know, field or yard. I was going to say working yeah. at the house, but uh, outside of that, not at all. Like, if you're really you having know? a bad day and you're like, man, nobody likes me, you could just go to Walmart in your cowboy hat <laughs> and people would come up to you and make you feel good. I guess I could, yeah. Um, but, no, I'd, 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 I'd like to be incognito as much as possible, which I'm sure you're the same. I don't well, know. my glasses, I can't really not wear Give my glasses. Away. Well, see, I just started wearing glasses, like prescription glasses. So that helps me in the grocery store not get recognized because, you know, I, I, I don't have that look. So Well, it is kind of put my glasses They're dark rim, on, though, aren't they? Like, kind of like this? A little bit. Yeah. The people um, are like, are you Bobby Bones? Just say yes and then be <laughs> super cool and we both yeah. win. Right yeah, there. there you go. Hey, there new you record go. just came out this weekend. So why is it called Stray Dog? You know, um, this industry has been really great to me. Radio, in particular, uh, you guys have been awesome to me. The fans have been great to me. But there have been moments in my career where I've been labeled an outcast, an outlier, outlaw, whatever. Um, You know, award shows never pay any attention to me at all, uh, even though I've sold more records and have more hit. And, And I don't mean that boastfully. It's just a fact. Uh, than a lot of people that are on the shows and, and win awards. And so it kind of became an autobiographical song, and I thought it was a, a really cool album title. So you wrote Stray Dogs. I did. And was that the reason? Was that when you're in the room and you're like, man, I'm not asking for it, but it is weird based on if you're just looking at analytics that I haven't been recognized in these capacities. I mean, how does that come up for that song to be written? Um, I mean, it wasn't specifically about uh, about that, but that there were some uh, threads through the song that, you know, uh, came about when we were writing it. But, you know, um, I don't know. I, I think when you're writing a song, you just, you're writing the song and trying to make it as good as it can possibly be and as real as it can possibly be. And, um, you know, that, that just happened to be the topic <laughs> that particular day. You have dogs? Too many, yes. We have uh, two Great Danes that are... Ooh, how, how expensive uh, are they to feed? What's, what costs 160 more to feed? and 180 pounds. The kids uh, or the dogs cost more to feed? <laughs> the dogs, probably, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. Um, and then we have a little... I don't even know what she is. A little shepherd kind of thing. I, I don't Do you have one you're closest to? I, it sounds terrible. I'm not really a, a a pet guy. You're not a dog my guy. Wife, my wife is, and my kids are. So I'm just like, oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, you know, like I'm I'm one of those guys. You know. Uh, Do you but, have any other animals? We have uh, the three dogs, and we have two cats. One outside cat, one inside cat. Do you think one's jealous of the other? Like they look at you through the window? Oh, yeah. The, the, the outside, outside, the outside like... cat is definitely jealous of the inside cat. Because yeah. the inside cat sleeps in the bed with us. Uh, the outside cat just keeps bringing snakes and mice and stuff to the back door going, look, look, look what What do I, I have did. to do to get in? Yeah, yeah. what do I have to do, <laughs> man? It's like, like, here's my money to get in the club. <laughs> Let me in. With you being a guy that has done music your whole life and have been really successful over the past, because I saw your first number one was like 14 years ago or something? Dude, yeah. This is that is, accurate? Uh, this is 16 years. 
So 16 years that you've been doing it. So with that, signed my record deal in 07. You have been a guy that plays late shows. You you're on a bus. You sleep in, and now you're doing a morning show back in Arkansas. How have you adjusted? Because I'm an idiot. Well, my I feel like idiot on the weekend. If I'm touring, I I never catch up. Yeah, and then I struggle all week. But how's it going for you? Not well. (laughs) Um, No, I I mean it's been a lot of fun, man. I mean you know, uh, like I've had the opportunity to talk to Scotty Thurman and Sidney Moncrief and like, you know, all these guys that I've looked up to. And, uh, so it's been a lot of fun, but it's tough, man. Uh, you know, do you ever the, wake the, up and go the, the schedule? Ah, oh, the morning. I just love it. <laughs> no, I, I never. never have. Not <laughs> no. once. What time do you wake up? No. Um, so I'm on Tuesday through Thursday, uh, seven to 10. Okay. So, that's a little softer, so I but get up at like six fifty two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, when I got to be on at seven. Okay. But, uh, do you do it from your house? I do. I do it. Uh, oh, with the tie line. Look at me talking radio, man. Tie you, line. That's a pretty good gig. Yeah. Three hours in front of yeah, your house. Yeah, it's not bad. Dang, I'm yeah. making up at three 30 over here yeah. driving into work. What kind of crap deal do I have? Yeah. He just gets to wake up and you do it from his bedroom. You make a lot more money than I do. Though. Maybe only radio though. Like you're doing pretty good <laughs> in your other thing. I get a lot of people that text me pictures of your bus going, who drives this bus? Because it's got a big razor back on the yeah. back of it. Yeah. I don't even have to look at it anymore. As soon as I see who drives this bus, <laughs> I know that it's you. Is that is that the same bus, or have you changed out the buses and put a new hog on it? I've had, I think that's my second or third bus with a hog, and we're building a new one right now that we'll be on next year. Uh, that we'll have a. I think we're going to do the. Uh, you remember the metallic hog from the Liberty Bowl? I think it was. Hey, they all do, right, everybody? Oh, I do. Yeah. I do, but yeah. they all I know, do. I know. Yeah, you, I do. I know you do. <laughs> I think we're going to do that one on a white bus, uh, but that's cool. We'll see. New yeah. buses are expensive. Do you buy your bus or do you lease? No, it? Oh, uh, no. lease. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. Small Town USA went number one back in 2009, 14 years ago. Feel like forever ago or feel like yesterday? Forever. Uh, but in a good way. I mean, you know, the fact that we're still doing this at, in this capacity uh, so many years later, man, I, I, I just feel super blessed and, um, I'm I'm super thankful to the fans listening, and again, you guys at radio have been so good to us over the years, and that's why we're still here, honestly. When you moved to Nashville, because you then left Nashville, when did you move here? How long were you here? I lived here, I moved here in 02, uh, so, so 21 years ago, I guess. Uh, I lived here for between 9 and, and 10 years. And when you moved back to Arkansas, was it because you were like, I feel successful enough that I can jump and then just come back if I need to? Or was it, I don't, I don't think this place is for me. I need to go back. A little bit of both. Um, Nashville was really good to me. I've got great friends here. Um, but it wasn't home. I mean, and it was never my intention to move here full time. Um, and this Nashville is totally different than the one I lived in. I mean, it's it's changed so much uh, and grown so much. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was always my intention to go back home, and in particular for, for my kids. And so we moved back home when my oldest daughter, who's now 13, um, was born. And I never wanted uh, my decision to do this for a career to affect my kids in a negative way. And... Uh, you can certainly live here and uh, and and achieve that, but uh, for me, I wanted to be back home around my parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and and all that. And so it's been really good for us. It wasn't super popular um, with my record label when I did it. <laughs> uh, Was that a conversation you had to but, sit down and have with them, or did you just move and be, I probably uh, just change my have. mail, just start sending it to this probably. address? Yeah. Uh, but I, I talked to my manager actually. I go. I, I want to move home, and he knew. It. And he goes, "You're a grown man. Move home. Like you don't have to ask anybody's permission." And so I just did it. And three years later, I, I'm talking to my record label president, and he goes, "How long you been living in Arkansas?" <laughs> I go, oh, "About three years." Uh, and so it was good because it proved to him I could do my job and and live anywhere. You know, as an artist, like when you come to Nashville usually you're off. 
I mean, outside of these kind of things, I mean, typically it's because you're off work. You know, you get off the road, you're off for two or three, four days, and then you get back on a bus. But uh, so I kept coming home going, I wish I was at, at, at home home, like eating dinner at Nanny's house, you know, with everybody else. And so, Do you feel weird? Because this song, you guys sound yeah. great together. Do you feel weird no. asking people to do stuff? No, just generally. Do you feel weird? <laughs> do you feel weird asking? Because I struggle with asking anybody to do anything yeah, with I or do. for me. I, I hate asking anybody for any help or, you know. Um, Why Riley? Do you feel like that was a guy you could ask pretty easily? Yeah. Um, he and I have gotten to know each other over the last, I don't know, six, seven years, five, six years, whatever. Um and I'm I'm a big fan of his, obviously, and um, I, I really thought in the song in particular, um, it's two guys that are just alike, which is the irony in, in the song, even though they disagree on everything, but they're identical, and so you know he and I I think are a little bit like that. So one more here. This is with a woman you love, which by the way was another number one for you. You got eleven. You got eleven of those things, dude. It's crazy. You got 11 number ones. And again, yeah. I'll just kind of end this the way that I brought it up. 11 number ones. And it's like, where? how's Justin not playing on these shows? And now it's like, you know, screw it. <laughs> but yeah, how's it? Hey, you know, it used to bother me, but now um, I don't miss any ball games on Tuesday night when I'm supposed to be coaching my 11-year-old. So I'd rather be doing that. Eddie asked me to sponsor his team. You're 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 rich. Do you want to sponsor Eddie's team? Come on, <laughs> Justin. Basically. You take that Cowboys hat off. Yeah. We'll, uh oh, we'll no deal. No uh, Justin Moore, <laughs> uh, new record just came out this weekend. So congratulations. Thanks. Good to see you again, buddy. Keep you killing too, it. Man. Thanks for representing home so well. And uh, there he is. Go check it out. Stream it. And I'll say this: Justin's out on the road. You guys go because it's so many dates. I'm not going to read every single city, but it's you know mostly the cities that we're in. But JustinMoore.com. You have all these dates all the way up until September. September twenty third. A lot of shows, man. A lot of, lot of, lot of shows. Let's stop it at September twenty third. You do fall. That? Yeah, let's stop that but right there. Then, and then you can go to the games. Exactly. I mean, that's what I, I try to now strategically. Well, yeah, schedule I, I do, in games. I do the same thing. I have to look down the schedule and go. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one, this one, this one, and so. I will see you at uh, Iowa Country Fest though coming up in Austin. Yes, uh, like in a week or two. Yes, right? it'll actually yeah. be this. Saturday, yeah. There you okay. go. That's how you can tell we recorded this, is that yeah. we're trying to figure out where our days are. Yeah, <laughs> yes. no, it'll be but, fun, man. I, I haven't been there in, I don't know, five, six, seven years, so it'll be fun to be back. Justin Moore, justinmoore.com. You guys go stream the record. It's called Stray Dog. Justin, good to see you, buddy. You too. Man. All right, there he is. Justin Moore, everybody. Woo. Hogs. Yeah.